In the diagram below, AB is parallel to DFC. So AB is parallel to DFC. Uh, EDA is parallel to CBG. So this is parallel to that. Uh, and EFB and AG are drawn. So EFB is a straight line as well as AG uh, is a line segment that's also indicated in the diagram. Which statement is always true? All right, so I immediately noticed that um, ABCD, that quadrilateral, is a parallelogram. So this angle over here uh, is going to be con uh, congruent to this angle over here because in, in, in a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. So if those angles are deserving of one tick mark, uh, then angle C and angle ABG is also deserving of one tick mark. Angle DFB is also deserving of one tick mark. And uh, any other angles deserving of one tick mark? Uh, absolutely, because Angle C here is also congruent to angle EDF, which is this angle over here. And are there any others? Uh, does not appear to be so. So let me see if there are any, uh, other, any other types of angles that we can call congruent. So I know that EFD is going to be congruent to angle CFG, CFB because they're vertical angles. And if EFD has two tick marks, then this is deserving of two tick marks because they're corresponding angles. And uh, are there any other angles that's deserving of two tick marks? Uh, not at the moment. All right, so just based on this, let's see what we have now, okay? So DEF and CBF. DEF is congruent to CBF. We certainly have uh, a lot of information about, about the angles, right, between those two triangles. I'm talking about option one right now. So triangle EDF, uh, DEF and CBF, uh, there are two corresponding angles that are congruent. That's enough information to, to claim that they are similar, but not quite enough to prove that they are congruent. We don't have any information about the sides. For all we know, DF and CF, they don't have to necessarily be congruent. We don't know anything about that. Um, so there's not enough information for uh, option one there, definitively, for us to say that they're congruent. BAG, triangle BAG and BAE. BAG and BAE. So we're talking about the triangle down here. Versus the triangle directly adjacent and above it. We do not have any information regarding that either. Uh, they do share a side, but there's not enough information about their angles. So that's not enough to justify that those two are congruent. What about justification for them to be similar, BAG and ABE? There's not enough information to justify these two as being similar either because I only see one corresponding angle that are congruent. Which one am I seeing here? I see this angle and this angle, but we don't have enough uh, any other information about uh, any other angles. What about DEF similar to AEB? DEF, so this triangle here, and triangle AEB, which I'm going to use red. AEB. This I can certainly agree with. Because if you look at this, the triangle in blue, angle D and angle F, they correspond with angle A and angle B in triangle AEB. So this, this certainly works. So option four is the answer then. Those two triangles are similar because of, again, angle-angle theorem.